in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Dear students, I hope you will be doing fine. Today we will start the new lecture which is lecture number four. This is unit number one and today we shall start poetry. Dear students, the poetry part of the unit one is the poem with the title The Newcomer. It has been written by Brian Patton. Dear students, the message given in this piece of poetry is very ominous and scary. And the poet has been able to put this forward brilliantly by employing a particular rhythm in the lines. We can live and adapt to any sort of climate and overcome the obstacles faced by other creatures. But we have a terrible power to kill off other creatures. The presence of this stranger is a great danger to their existence. The newcomer is very strange in its appearance. The arrival of man brings destruction. Stanza number one. There's something new in the river, the fish said as it swam. It has got no scales, no fins, and no gills, and ignores the impassable dam. Dear students, the fish sees something new in the water, which it has never seen before. It is an object that is foreign to it or new to it, something not naturally seen in the river. It doesn't look like the other things that live in the water and it is unafraid of the dam. Stanza number two. The explanation of the text. There is something new in the trees. I heard a bloated thrush sing. It has got no beak, no claws and no feathers. And not even the ghost of a wing. Dear students, there is something new in the trees. The thrush was singing to the other birds. It warns them that the creature, it warns them that the creature has no beak, no claws or feathers. And it is also wingless. Yet it flies.
stanza number three there's a something new in the varan said the rabbit to the doe it's got no fur no eyes and no paws yet digs further than we dare go students the rabbit says to the doe in this stanza that there is something new in the varan it is not like them why it is not like them because it has no fur it has no eyes no paws but still it digs deeper than them stanza number four there is something new in the whiteness said the snow bright polar bear i saw its shadow on a glacier but it left no paw marks there dear students the snow bright polar bear says there's something new in the in that snowy region i saw its shadow on the glacier but it left no paw marks there and through the animal kingdom the uh, news was spreading fast that they had seen something new in that whiteness now the last stanza which is stanza number 5 through the animal kingdom the news was spreading fast no beak no claws no feather no scales no fur no gills it lives in the trees and the water in the soil and the snow and the hills and it kills and it kills and it kills dear students the news of the newcomer was spreading fast through the kingdom of animals it has no physical similarity of the animals that is uh, it has no beak no claws no feather no scales no fur and no gills but it lives in the trees and in the water in the soil in the and in the snow and in the hills the only thing that it does is killing the other creatures dear students now for the stanza comprehension practice as it has been observed in the past couple of years that we in the in the exams we give you uh, a, a a stanza comprising few lines and you are then required to read the stanza carefully and Uh, read the questions given at the end and try to find the answers as per the stanza now similarly i will um, as an example i will give you the uh, rather i will advise you to read the last stanza of this poetry which is the newcomer once again and then i will encourage you to write the answers uh, given at the end of this slide uh, and uh, you are advised to write them in your notebooks as well to what was the news spreading question number 
question number two which body parts does the newcomer uh, sorry the newcomer not have question number three where does the newcomer live 